It always has been a, uh, a challenge for girls overcoming conflicting images while trying to develop a healthy sense of self, self-esteem and good character. For many young girls, it was so much more difficult while they're isolated during a pandemic. A group of mothers and daughters said, we're gonna do something about it. They bonded and built a really tight sisterhood called Shiro's Rise. Bob DeCastro checked in with them on their one year anniversary. Girls are a rising force. Girls and young women soaring to new heights, armed with a sense of confidence and ready to face life's challenges after taking part in an intensive program called Shiro's Rise. There's lots of organizations that focus on leadership and community service and civic engagement, but there wasn't an organization that focused on the internal development of a girl. The nonprofit was founded one year ago in the middle of the pandemic by educator and mom Sonali Pereira Bridges. By the age of eight, a girl is at the peak of her self-esteem. By the age of nine, it rapidly begins to decline. And then all of a sudden, their bodies are starting to change beginning in third or fourth grade. Their bodies change, the narrative shifts, they're feeling all these emotions, they don't know what to do with it. And gathered my girls and their two best friends and said, you know, I'm thinking about doing this. Dozens of mothers and daughters joined, forming a sisterhood creating a program guided by 12 pillars, things to strive for like self-esteem, self-reliance, compassion, and gratitude. It was absolutely astonishing to see how much impact it had on these girls, even week to week, um, to see how they felt about themselves and, and you know, how they walk through this world, how they express themselves differently. Shiro's Rise focuses especially on underserved communities, often from first generation or low income families, providing workshops for girls and young women who may not have the same resources. They receive support from teachers, child psychologists, and pediatricians. Once a Shiro, always a Shiro. The hope is proud graduates stay in the program as mentors, passing their wisdom to new generations. So far, more than 100 volunteers have been involved and more than 80 have participated. Shiro's Rise says it is just the beginning. I would tell them they have everything inside of them to be able to soar, fly, and rise above any situation that they're in. The power lies within each of us and it's just being able to tap into that and be able to own it, honor it, and acknowledge it so that it lifts you up every single day. But the power is always in us. They just need somebody to help spirit it out. Exactly. Bob's here now. I love yeah. this. I imagine they recognize that the need is great and yeah. they need to grow with the need, they, right? They've seen that need uh, yeah. firsthand. First of all, their first year anniversary this past weekend so cool. it was International Day of the Girl. Beautiful. They had like a hundred young uh, girls and young women that were part of the program mm -hmm. uh, initially, and now they've seen the applications soar. So 250 yes. applications, and capacity is the biggest issue. Yeah, so of course, like everything. Thing. They need they need the help. So they, are they looking for volunteers? So they're looking for any sort of volunteers. This is a network of, of women. They're professionals. Mm -hmm. They're they're uh, pediatricians, doctors. So there's a science behind that's it. Great. But they're psychologists, <laughs> teachers, educators, and so anybody that's willing to help out in this sisterhood to empower these. Uh, girls and young women, um, they're looking for those types of So people. just go to Shiro's Rise on, on the web. Yeah, on we'll the put it on our website, foxla.com. Awesome. Um, and also they're looking for, you know, the donations, the corporate sponsors. Uh, and people from all across the country now are looking to them as a model because they're, they're thinking, wow, this, this is something that we don't have either. Those pillars, I'm telling you. Yeah. And we take them for granted if you grew up with them, but they are things that are so important to yeah. be a thriving grown-up. Uh, you're amazing. Thank you're you, amazing. Bob. No, you're amazing. <laughs> we'll be right back while we argue about who's more amazing. <laughs> you are.